If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be testing out the viral snail mucin cream from CosRx. We'll do like an application, first impressions, and then I'm gonna do like clips of my skin every single day to show you if this like does anything for my skin. We'll look at the before and after compared to results, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. If you like skincare videos, make sure you hit the like button and let's get started. This product is super viral and snail mucin in general has been super viral because of all of these supposed benefits that it can have on your skin. Basically, it's supposed to be ultra protective and repairing, really great for sensitive skin. It's also supposed to help with brightening and even out your skin tone and your hyperpigmentation. So I'm really excited to try this. It's also supposed to be super moisturizing and hydrating without being heavy or greasy. So this is the big version. It's like a seven ounce one. <laughs> So for the per ounce price, I think it comes out to like 4 or $5. I got mine from Amazon and it's basically really affordable if you look at the per ounce like price because if you compare it to drugstore, there's definitely drugstore products that have a much higher price point when you look at the per ounce price. So I do feel like it's very good value, very affordable. So I'm hoping that we like it. Okay, this is like week three of me filming this video about this nail cream, but I'm finally gonna do the comparison of how my skin looks like before and every day, so let's go. <laughs> okay, this is the before. My skin actually was fine, I just kind of had some like hormonal breakouts. And then here is the application. It's pretty goopy and sticky and it's kind of weird at first and it's hard to get used to. And the way that I found to apply it like the most efficiently is to just put a little bit on your finger and then put it on each part of your face instead of having to like separate it because it's really gooey but i do love the way that it applies it's nice and cooling it's like a gel and it soaks in really nicely it's not greasy at all it's not matte it's just nice and light and hydrating and then this is what my skin looks like after the first application i look kind of rough honestly in some of these clips because i have not been sleeping and you can kind of tell my dark circles were not looking great but basically that is day two. Not much of a difference. I think there is a slight glow that it gives you temporarily, but that's about it. And here is day three. I feel like my acne scars are starting to get a little bit better. Like they were starting to fade and the glow looked a little bit nicer. Here's day four. Not much of a change, but I do feel like you can see like a slight evening of the skin tone. Day five. I do feel like I look better except for my dark circles because again, I'm just not sleeping. Here is day six. I feel like by this point my skin looked noticeably brighter and just more even. And then here is the after. I feel like it looks a lot better <laughs> from my point of view at least. I feel like my pores look better. It just looks brighter and more glowy and that's basically all I ever want. Okay, I am back to give you my final thoughts on the snail cream. I've been using it for literally like over six weeks now and I really, really like it. Basically, it's my favorite gel moisturizer of all time because I like the gel consistency. It's not greasy and it's moisturizing enough. But I also like that the ingredients actually do something for your skin because a lot of gel products out there, like it feels nice to put on but there's no ingredients in it that's actually going to do anything for you. So I like that this actually brightens and evens out my skin tone and it doesn't break me out. It's also really good if you have sensitive skin, like Josh has eczema and ever since he started using it, his eczema hasn't flared up and if he forgets to use it one day, <laughs> it will flare up again so he really likes it and i feel like it's just very nourishing if you want to like repair your skin barrier or if you just want to like brighten the skin and like even out your complexion i think you should give this a try and i much prefer the packaging of the big one because it's a lot easier to apply i think in a jar it would be like too goopy and annoying <laughs> but yeah that's it for my review i definitely think it's worth it i think it's super affordable let me know if you guys try this out and if you like it and let me know what I should try out next like what your favorite sort of Asian moisturizer is because I'm so into Asian skincare right now. Okay, that's it for today's little video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye!
stay.